Hi there, and welcome to a video I spent all day on. This video is about characters from Sonic games you might not have heard of. First off, let's start off with Honey the Cat. Honey the Cat is a playable character that made her appearance in the 2012 re-release re of Sonic the Fighters, an original arcade version. She was never seen was only found in the game data. Honey is an anthro anthro anthropomorphic cat who competed in the fighting tournament for the Chaos Emerald and the right to destroy the Death Egg number 2. Keep that in mind, okay? That she was in a fighting game and not the Death Egg. Honey was designed by, oh boy, Kazunori O and Taako Kawaguchi, the character model designer for Sonic the Fighters and the game Fighting Vipers. The latter, which uses the same engine that the Sonic, that Sonic the Fighters is built on, according to an interview with Hiroshi he, Hiroshi Katako. I can't read this. Director of Sonic the Fighters, Honey is based off the character of the same name from Fighting Vipers. Honey's name in English territories was Candy. Katoka. Confirmed that since Sonic the Fighters was initially designed for around fighting vipers. There's something on me, sorry about that. Initially designed around fighting vipers <clears throat> by simply placing Sonic characters in it. The Honey and Sonic the Fighters was modeled around the Honey and fight, fighting, vi fighting vipers. <laughs> God. Alright. Uh, she's a cat with a red dress, and as you can see from the video. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. Ooh. The Honey and Fighting Vipers has the same poses and look as Honey the Cat, even having a special called a special attack called Cat Punch in her moveset, as well as several other cat themed move names. These cat themes may have been what inspired and the designers to make the Honey for the Sonic the Fighters a cat. The original Fighting Vipers version of Honey is easily comparable to Honey the Cat as seen below. I shouldn't have read that. Now Aside from reading the wiki, because I'm a loser, um, I have my own thing to say about Honey. Honey, I'm home! Alright then. I think she'd be cool to bring back in a game, even if it's just like a cameo. Like Fang, Bean, and Barkhead, and Mania. That was cool. I didn't expect that. I went, whoa! <laughs> like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> whoa, he says. But this isn't about Crash Bandicoot. This is a cat. About a cat. And other characters. So I'm gonna... Oh, she's in the Archie comics too. That's probably where... If you read the comics, that is. Uh, she's just... When did she appear? Um, this comic series and spinoff published by Archie. Honey is the founder of this... Honey is the founder, CEO, and designer for Honey Brand Clothes and Accessories during the Shattered World Crisis... She participated in the Chaos Emerald Championship to promote her <coughs> championship to promote herself, going up against the likes of Sonic, some of the Freedom Fighters, Knuckles, and the Hooligans. Who's the Hooligans? Oh, huh. What do you know? The Hooligans are actually Knack Fang, Knack, the Weasel, Bean, and Bark. I did not know that. All right, moving on to the next character. The hey, you like polar bears? You better, because that's what this guy is. Bark the polar bear was one of the participants in the fighting tournament when Doctor Robotnik instructed the Death Egg Two to conquer Earth with his robots. He is found as a pwn. He is found. Oh my God, I cannot read. He is found as in a. That's weird. He is found as opponent in Aurora Icefield. If Bark wins this tournament, he would get the Chaos Emerald belonging to the other participants, in addition to his own, and earn the rights to use them for Tails' single-seat Lunar Fox, which would take him to the Death Egg 2 to destroy it. At the end of the tournament, the victor uses, used you would use God, this wiki would use the Chaos Emeralds to go to the Death Egg 2 and make it self-destruct moments after escaping. Now, uh, uh, excuse me. Oh, I'm Morty. 
Bark hasn't been in a lot of games. Actually, just one game. Well, Sonic the Fighters, but that's more... Not Sonic the Fighters. Uh, he was in the Fighters, as you can see, but... And Mania. He was in Mania. But it was like a small cameo during a boss fight. Spoilers. And he was in Generation in City Escape, also as a cameo. Looking at all his game experience... Game appearances, I'm trying to talk too fast. He was in Sonic the Fighters, Fighters Mega Mix, Sonic Jam, Shinmu, Shinmu 2, Sonic Gems Collection, Sonic, Sonic Generations, I'm, uh, Johnny Quijamo, and Sonic Mania. In his appearance of Sonic the Fighters, Spark is shown to be serious during his matches. Accordingly, Bark is blunt and quiet. Do of being a shy guy, <laughs> like for Mario, <laughs> but he is known to have a gentle and loving heart. In the comics, of course, I gotta mention the comics because Bark is there a lot more than the actual games, and I wish Bark would be in another game because he's so cool. I mean, he's a polar bear wearing a scarf and a hat. That's hella cool. Oh my god, <laughs> he was freaking out on there. Oh, I feel like I gotta sneeze. I won't do it, and I'll just wait. In the comic series, and it's been off published by Archie Comics, Bark is a silent partner of Bean the Dynamite. Bark himself was a walking enigma, as no one knew where he came from or what his motivations are. He used to be part of a mercenary group, which included Fiona Fox, Bing, and Nick, Bing, and Nick the Weasel. Later on, Bark and Bean were hired by Doctor Eggman. <laughs> to ambush Sonic on his birthday. Oh, happy birthday. But the duo was soon out... There's a bug on my laptop. But the duo was soon outnumbered and retreated. After being captured and escaping jail, Bark and Bean worked for Mammoth Moogle. I'll have to do a video about him if I ever do, like, comics. For some time before joining Knack, the Weasel's team, Hooligan, to secure a soul emerald, but failed. Ah, my ear itches. Uh, excuse me. Alright, one more character and you're free to go. So I'm going to be doing two characters in this one, and this is where I would put what game they're from, but I couldn't find any footage, sadly. But it's Knuckles Chaotix, by the way. Uh, this is Sonic World, I think it's called. And that's Heavy and Bomb. Uh, Heavy's the guy that looks like a iron, and Bomb's a little boy. I don't know if he's a little boy or not. But, Heavy is a character that appears in Knuckles Chaotix. He is a robot mechanic created by Dr. Robotnik, who together with his co-worker Bomb, which I'm talking about soon, form robotics mechanics. However, he apparently abandoned his master to work with the Chaotix. Heavy is a clunky silver construction with red oven mittens for hand and a gray-black body, which resembles a coffee kettle. He possesses long, flat, and rectangular feet and spring legs. All right. During Robotnik's operations in New Tragic High Zone, Heavy worked as a ro as Robotnik's chef chief mechanic alongside fellow mechanic bombs. Supposedly, they escaped from Robotnik's clutches to assist Knuckles and the Chaotix in their operations against the Doctor. Although it is speculated that the duo's true goal was to slow the heroes down for Robotnik, whatever Heavy and Bomb's true intentions were, Knuckles and his allies succeeded in stopping Robotnik's plans. I don't know why I'm calling him Robotnik. Alright, then Bomb, and when we're done. Bomb is a character that appears in Knuckles Chaotix. He's a robot mechanic, blah, same thing as Heavy. Actually, they have the same backstory. Bomb has a spherical body, and it resembling a cherry bomb. The top half of his body is black, and the bottom half of his body is red. He also has no facial features, and a white fuse on the top of his body. He also has a silver metallic limbs with yellow gloves and white and red shoes. That's the end, and I'll ABC you later. <laughs>